Are you familiar with your subconscious fears and insecurities? If you aren't aware of them, don't worry. Pluto is going to make you very conscious and aware of them. And it's going to force you to do some healing so that you can involve and change. So let's talk about Pluto retrograde, how it impacts you, and most importantly, how to get the most out of your Pluto retrograde lesson. So Pluto is one of those generational planets. It doesn't sit really close to the earth. And that's a good thing because while it does have an influence over us, it doesn't have a super strong daily influence over us, say kind of like a Mercury. We can be really impacted almost daily by what goes on with Mercury because it sits pretty close to the planet Earth. Pluto is so far away that it has a very strong and intense influence over us, but it's very slow, which is good for us. Let me tell you, because Pluto don't play no games. This is the planet of death and destruction and control, domination and anger. It can bring up a lot of nasty, unsavory things. So if we were feeling the strong influence of Pluto every single day, it would be like we're living in a battlefield. Literally, things would be blowed up and destroyed. And in the next few hours, they would be up pretty and new and great. And then before we even got a chance to really enjoy the pretty new shininess, it would be back torn down again because it is the planet of death and rebirth, destruction and chaos in order to bring a greater sense of healing and personal growth. Because Pluto is essentially bringing up hidden aspects of who we are and when I mean hidden aspects it brings up hidden motivations connected to woundings um, family woundings childhood woundings or it could be connected to some really big traumatic experience that we had that changed our life forever so like I said it could have to do with addiction and sexual abuse and um, being in poverty or just not feeling enough, um, deep seated, um, fears and woundings around rejection and not being loved or just that deep emotional hurt and pain or big and life changing events that literally change us forever. And not only does it change our outer world, it also changes the way that we think about ourselves, about the world around us. So this is what we talk about when we talk about a lot of those subconscious fears, subconscious woundings, and the need for deep seated and long term healing. And when we look at it from the, um, the characteristics of the planet death and rebirth, it has to do with a death or ending and those limiting beliefs and those traumatic experiences are really the way we process it. So ending to the behaviors and the mindsets connected to those things. And then the rebirth, the rebirth is the transcending or the purification so that we're no longer acting out of our wounding, thinking of our, out of our wounding, or even self-sabotaging ourselves as a way of a protective mechanism because we get so caught up in those old fears and insecurities. So we do need a longer amount of time to really digest Pluto's lesson. And let's look at it when it goes retrograde because that's what we're here for today. It's test time. It's test time. You have to prove to the universe, but most importantly to yourself, that you have learned to master whatever those deep-seated fears, insecurities, and woundings are because it's time for you to evolve. Although Pluto's lesson is really hard, like it just feels hard. It, you know, death or major change or something like that is just never an easy process. So this isn't going to be fun and games. But when you put in a lot of hard work, and you stay committed to the process, you feel so empowered when it's over. It's such a great sense of satisfaction. And that is exactly what a Pluto lesson is. So at the time that this is retrograde, you will be triggered. Okay, trigger alert, trigger alert, trigger alert. Pluto will trigger you to make sure that you have done the work that you said that you were going to do. However, if you haven't started doing the work, if you're just going on about your business, I don't care what Pluto want me to do. I'm just over here doing this. Pluto is going to trigger you to start your work because it's like the universe is tired of playing with you already. Okay. The universe is tired of your games, of your shenanigans. 
the universe is tired of you being in your comfort zone. The universe is tired of you not leveling up. This universe is tired of you crying and pleading and praying for all this stuff that you want and you sitting over there not doing the heavy lifting. So you will be triggered as a way to force you to grow or you will be triggered to prove that you have done the work. What does this work look like? It looks like responding differently. It looks like when you used to be scared or somebody used to trigger you with something, instead of getting angry and punching somebody in the face, Pluto, violence, instead of doing that, you're going to say, you know what, this isn't worth it. You're not going to trigger me out of who I know that I am. There are better ways for me to respond. Or even the fact, what are you even angry about? You stuck in your ego, you mad, you, you mad somebody making you look bad, you mad somebody told you what to do, that's childish, okay? So that ego death is a form of death and Pluto retrograde will come in to trigger you to make sure that you're not still operating out of ego. You're not still operating out of low vibrational energies. So that really is all that Pluto retrograde is. I know I made it sound super easy and it's not that easy at all because when you're living in it, when you're going through the motion, when you have to think on your feet and remember who you are after going through so much difficulty, heartache, or pain in that area of life, when you have to make a better choice and a decision for yourself, I know it's not easy, y'all. I know it's not. But I just want you to be aware that if you're feeling that right now, it is your Pluto lesson and you owe it to yourself, most importantly, your future self, to make better choices and decisions. Because if you're not, you're just going to keep getting dragged until you get it. But that's your business.